Hi there, Renee Aste of Lowell, Massachusetts. And grifting is not compassion. And the man who had all those detransition interviews from like 2020, 2021, 2022, that I was listening to, he's such a compassionate man. A sweetheart. I thought he was a sweetie. He lived with a lady for years. And, had, you know, he was very stable, very normal um, conversationalist when I was mutuals with him on Twitter. And he turned into nothing but a rage baiter. Ooh. I mean, I saw the signs. I saw the red flags back in like late winter 2023 spring when he was monkey branching. He was living with another woman for years. A little stable home. And he monkey branched off her her to another woman. And she's just pure griff, that YouTuber. She claims to be a coach because according to a website when I was looking back in like late May and June, she's like, I didn't... I didn't finish law school. I think she's going for like a counseling master's and she didn't like the program. So she became a whistleblower and claiming like, you know, like going full anti-woke. Like it was like sort of like this graph, this branding of I'm fighting the woke. And you could see the change of personality. You know, they're just exploiting the detransitioners. You know, they'll prop up that one girl, one young woman, you know, like, oh, look at this poor woman. She was medicalized and trauma and whatnot. Or they'll prop up another parent who claims that the school was transitioning their kid. And honestly, I know enough teachers in even progressive Massachusetts, even the woke teachers are not trying to trans your kid. The woke teachers aren't trying to trans your kid, by the way. It's a social contagion that's outside of the school system that is asking them like to, to do this and most teachers are actually kind of concerned even the woke ones but they can't really say anything because of the laws and that's actually an issue but they aren't there to actually make any change they're not there for change they're there for grift they're there they have other plans and like the conservative people they're not really interested like the detransitioners are just putting to get you all angry and outraged Ultimately, their goal is to dismantle all public schools and have everything be a for-profit charter. That's their ultimate goal. Their goal, they're using the, the gender issue to basically destabilize all public schools. That's their main goal. Their main goal isn't, it's just outrage and anger. And they get to do whatever they want because they want to gin up fear. I mean, look at all the YouTube channels. The ones that gin up the most anger and fear. I saw one that got like 5 million views. 5 million views. To gin up anger and outrage. And you're, they're making so much money off of this. Yeah, they are. Some, like, some of them aren't becoming like multi-millionaires. But they're getting paid a nice salary of some sort, right? From the fundraising. And, you know, you see, you want to be bitter and angry? You have every right to be bitter and angry. But I'm the Catholic one here, and I'm my peace I give you. I'm asking you, it might be hard, but walk away from the gender discourse. You were a sweet man once upon a time. Well, I'd like to believe that, but you're nothing but a grifter and a rage beater. Love you all.